Give that a second and we can see now that's pulling a new update to my remote control. So very easy to do and a quick way for you to force an update onto your device. So three secret hidden menus for your Roku device, providing you with some more features, some under the hood settings, and really just how you can get the most from your Roku device. Now the first one will allow you to modify your image settings and also tweak some ad settings on your device. Now with all of these secret menus, they require you to press a certain button combination on your remote control. Very much like the gaming days where on your controller you had to press up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, A, B, A, B, which then gave you some extra lives or allowed you to access some hidden menus in your games. Well, on the Roku device, we can see here, I can access the first hidden menu by pressing the home button five times and then up, right, down, left, up. So let's see if that works first time. So here's the home button here. So one, two, three, four, five, up, right, down, left, up. And there you have it guys. We've now access, and Roku even calls it themselves, a secret screen. And we can see here, the first option we have is to change the image service that we're using. On the left, we can see we're using the production image right now. But if I press the select button, we've now gone to default, press it again. We've now gone to the development uh, image. You have the QA image, which is quality assurance and back to prod. So you can basically swap these around and see some of the other images that are available. You also have the option to change the screenshot output format. So we can see right now it's set to JPEG. If I press the select button, that then changes to PNG. And let's leave JPEG. You can also cycle the home screen ad banner server. So right now it's on production. I've now changed it to QA, QA1. QA2, QA3, staging, staging two, staging three, staging four, demo one, demo two, demo three, and then back to production. So for a quick test, let's just change to demo two, just for a test. You can also cycle the ad channel. We can see again by default, it's set to production. The Cycle Gaming Remote Auto Pairing is basically allowing you to automatically pair your Bluetooth controller when your device turns on. So if you do have some game controllers or other Bluetooth devices, you can leave that set to on, or if you're not using that service, you can turn that off. Let's leave mine as on. And here, for example, you can also set to automatically update your Bluetooth gaming controllers. So you can see by default it's on, but you can turn that off. We also have a resets menu here, so I can click on this. And this will allow you to reset various configuration components of your Roku device. Maybe you've got issues receiving software updates. So I can click on this option here, which will reset that feature. Here, for example, you can reset which channels have been added to your device and some other options in here. So if you are having any issues, you can come in here and reset specific components and hopefully get your device working as it was before. Let's go back. So that's the first secret menu. Let's go back to home. The next secret menu will give you more information about your networking and your Wi-Fi setup. So let's try that now. So again, we're going to get the remote control. Let's now press the home button five times, then right, left, right, left, right. So let's see if that works first time. One, two, three, four, five, right, left, right, left, right. And there you are, guys. You are now inside the network secret menu. Now we can see with this one, I can see my current Wi-Fi network name. I can also check my signal strength. So if you do find that maybe your Roku is not performing well in certain streaming applications, or maybe you're seeing buffering, it is always worthwhile double checking the secret menu and seeing exactly what your Wi-Fi strength is. You can also see your Wi-Fi channel here to see if there's any Wi-Fi contention or Wi-Fi congestion in your area. And at the bottom there, we can also see my internet download speed. If I want to check connection, let's click on that. This will now do a quick test. It will reestablish the connection to your Wi-Fi network and hopefully do a quick test to see what kind of Wi-Fi speeds you can expect on your device. And we can see in this example, my speed has actually gone down because I'm currently testing something with my home network. We can also click on bandwidth saver. Now this could be a great option for you to save your network bandwidth because if you find that maybe somebody has left a, a streaming application running or somebody was watching a movie and they left the device on, if you leave this option enabled and it detects that you haven't pressed any button on your remote for four hours, it will then give you a message asking you that are you still using your device? And if it doesn't get a response, it will then stop streaming for you. So that could be a good option if you do find that people are regularly leaving your device running when they're not actually using it. So you can turn that off or on. That's an option there. And the last secret menu we have is the hidden platform menu. Now to access this, 
Again, we're going to press the home button five times and then press forward, play, pause, rewind, play, pause, forward. So let's try that now. One, two, three, four, five, forward, play, pause, rewind, play, pause, forward. And there we have it guys. So that's the last secret menu, which is the platform secret menu. Now, as you can see here, I can even see the temperature of my Roku device. So typically with all these devices, when they get too hot, they start throttling, which means the performance of your device will be reduced to help your device cool down. So right now we can see that my device is currently on 48 degrees. I can also click on the option, uh, view remote button presses. Let's select that. Now, for example, I can very quickly see uh, all of the buttons working on my remote control. So let's try this, let's try this. And you can see correctly, all of those buttons are being registered and that's working great. So a great way for you to check quickly is my remote control functioning properly and are all of the buttons working correctly. Now to exit, we need to press home and then star. So home and then star. Okay, so here you've got the fast boot secret screen. Let's click on that. And here we can see the fast boot is enabled, but you can turn that off if you want to. Let's go back. You also got the wireless secret screen here. And here you can see some more information about your wireless connection. So you can see things like your signal to noise ratio. You can see the exact data packets transferred and received. You can even see the driver version you're using for your Roku network adapter. Let's go back. So lots of good information there. You got your remote control menu. Say for example, you can try to trigger an update. Let's click on that. Give that a second and we can see now that's pulling a new update to my remote control. So very easy to do and a quick way for you to force an update onto your device. It says update successful, that's working fine. I can now see a battery indicator on the top there. That's great. And uh, we have other options in here, like for example, settings menu. So I can reboot the remote control. I can set a wake timer. So really some good things in here. Let's go back. Then we've got the systems operations menu. And here, for example, we can see all sorts of information about the display. For example, I can add the FPS to the display overlay. And there we can see on the top left, it's only doing nine or 10 frames because we're in the menu. Let's go back into that. You also got the audio menu. So here, for example, we can test playing some audio just to make sure that it works okay. And at the top of it, you've also got a reboot menu. So a quick and easy way for you to reboot your device. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. Do leave me a comment below if you knew any of those secret menus. And if there are any other secret menus that you use on your Roku device, do leave me a comment below and I'll check them out for my next Roku video. Really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video with other Roku users and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.